Whoa, whoa! What? Whoa, we'll get to that fun stuff here in just a minute. But the first thing we have to do is get these Skinner sights set up to shoot. And to do that, we may need one of these. Hi, George here, and welcome to Tales from Target Suite, where I'll share my perspective on guns and shooting, and we'll spend some time at the range, and every now and then we'll spend some time out in my shop back in Houston, or here at the farm in Louisiana, where I'll build some fun projects and share an adventure or two that'll make even a grown man smile. And what's this file all about? Well, let's talk about it. So here's the deal. This new front sight from Skinner is too tall. Um, and that was on purpose because I knew the original bead sight was way too short. And so I ordered the tallest front sight that I could get from Skinner. It was three quarters of an inch tall. And I've already cut that down quite a bit. And so um, maybe we'll get by with just making some adjustments here to the rear sight. If you'll remember from my Marlin 39A video, one full revolution of this rear sight changes the height of the aperture by 25 thousandths. And so maybe there'll be enough adjustment there without getting the, the rear sight too tall to, uh, to work with this um, arbitrary height that I have here. Or maybe we'll need to take the file to it and uh, make some adjustments. Who knows, but I'll tell you what let's do. Let's shoot that first group and just see where we are. And as always, when I'm starting from scratch, I make my first group at 25 yards. That, cu that cuts away. <laughs> that cuts way down on wasted ammo. So let's get started. Let's go check and see what kind of group we have. Okay, let's take a look here. So I was actually had the uh, Partridge front sight right here, and I'm gonna discount this one. So that looks like about 1.8 inches low. Let's go back and plug that number into the Skinner calculator and uh, see what we've got to do. Do we have to file that front sight or can we make an adjustment in the rear sight? Okay, so we were one point, we're gonna call it 1.8 inches low. And um, here is the calculation from the Skinner website. And I'm going to plug my numbers in there and then we'll talk about it. So my calculation is 28 and a half inches, which is, by the way, is my sight radius. And that's the distance from the rear aperture to the partridge front sight. So, so 28.5 inches sight radius times 1.8 inches, which is what I need to change the point of impact divided by 720 inches equals 0.071 inches. Okay, I think that's close enough. We'll shoot another couple of rounds and see what happens. Okay, that looks pretty sweet. That is, uh, gosh, if that's a quarter of an inch low, that's about it. Um, and so I think what we'll do is we'll take this target down to 100 yards and see what it looks like at 100 yards. Boy, it turns out we really miscalculated the trajectory of that 4570 at 100 yards. And so we had to take an additional 80 thousandths off that front sight. Now let's see how it does at 100 yards.
It turns out that there was more that failed than the teleprompter. And, uh, and I would just say it was operator error that the 100-yard um, yard camera didn't work. But we can still do this and just say that these are the two shots that I took from 100 yards. And, um, and so they're about <laughs> just about where, where they need to be. And I don't know that I can shoot any better than that. So uh, there you have it, 100 yards. We're spot on, ready to go. Can I go now? That's a little disappointing, but I'll tell you what, I got another one coming right up that it's not gonna disappoint anybody. Well, I ran a little experiment um, to see if the 4570 would set off some Tannerite. And um, that hit was pretty darn spot on and all it did was make a big puff of white powder. And so we had hoped to do this last segment with the 4570, but it's just not to be. But we do have a backup plan here, and so, um, you know, at this point, it's kind of all about the boom. So let's see what happens. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs>